Hi guys, I just wanted to um, just talk about a few things that I learned at the Sacramento Regionals. And the first thing is customer care. Um, they really talked a lot about how we want to make our customers feel really special and we really want to take the time and get to know our customers. Um, because that little personal touch really does um, add a lot and it means a lot to the people who buy from us. So. Um, they talked about the 2 plus 2 plus 2 system, and what it is is um, within two days of them purchasing from you, you want to get in touch with your customer and thank them for their order and acknowledge that you got their order and that you appreciate it. And um, two things that I do to do this is um, if the order is within is from a party. I always post in the party um, a little picture and it says thank you for your order and then um, I usually go through the wraps that they ordered and kind of take a look at their order and I pick out um, one or two of the wraps and I find a picture um, of the wraps on hands um, and I post that with the thank you picture. Um, another thing that I've done is I go to PicMonkey and I make a collage of um, all the wraps that they've bought. And I feel like this just adds like a little personal touch and that way they know that you've seen their order and um, you think that they, the wraps that they picked out were good. So um, the other thing that I do is I send them a thank you note in the mail as well. So sometimes I put like an accent sheet in there, sometimes it's just a thank you note. Um, but it just adds that personal touch and it makes them feel like you do appreciate their order. Um, the next two is two weeks. So two weeks after they ordered, you want to get in touch with them and see if they've gotten their order, see if they've tried their wraps, and if they need any help with um, application or um, if you need to like troubleshoot anything with them. So um, at this point, if you haven't already, you could send them um, a link to like an application video you like or um, send them any tips and tricks that you have to make your application last um, the full two weeks. So, um, the third two is two months. So two months after um, they ordered, you want to get in touch with them, see how they're doing. If they hadn't tried the wraps when you got in touch with them at two weeks, you want to make sure that they've tried them, um, see if they have any questions, and then see if they need anything else. So. At two months, they might be looking for some new wraps, so make sure that you ask them if there's anything that you need. And then one thing that um, they talked about is featuring an item. So you could say, hey, the featured item this month is this wrap or this product. And um, they kind of just talked about um, picking one. So it doesn't have to be something that Jamberry is featuring, it could just be like, hey, I really like this wrap, this is my new featured wrap this month, or whatever. So um, if there's like gift sets or um, like the Throwback Thursday wraps, you could always mention those as well. So um, those were the 2 plus 2 plus 2, and um, I really think that that is going to be a big game changer um, in our businesses because when customers feel like they know you or you care about them, they will come back to you. And um, another thing they talked about is um, getting in touch with your customers every four months. So um, they kind of did a little research and they figured out that every four months people were ordering new wraps. So um, that's something to think about as well um, when you're booking parties is um, every four months. So. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is bundles. So they talked about bundling items together to make it to make it easier on your customers. People like to just um, be told this is what you need. So um, ideas for those is you could pick four wraps and you could pick um, the application kit and the mini heater and that could be a bundle and you could say you could get all this for $84. And what I did is I found a bunch of pictures of the wraps on hands and then I, so there were ones that had like more than three or three wraps and I went and I um, got the pictures of the wraps from our website 
And I made a little collage on PicMonkey that has the picture of the wraps and hands. It has the four wraps and then it has the mini heater and the application kit. And um, to make the picture co compliant, you're not allowed to put um, like a price on it or like words or anything. But you can make a picture like that and then um, when you post it to your party, you could just say, um, get all this for $84. This is everything that you need for a perfect application. So it makes it really easy on people. Like when they see that, they're like, oh, I need the mini heater, the application kit, and then four wraps, and then I'm good to go. So that's one thing to think about. And then the last thing that I wanted to leave you with um, is be confident. So the whole conference was about being confident in yourself, in your business, and good things will follow. So um, they kind of talked about be confident and your customers will be confident in you. Be unsure and your customers will be unsure about your product. So um, if there's anything that you're unsure about, um, talk to me and we'll figure it out so that you can be confident because I want you guys all to be confident in your businesses and yourselves and your products. So um, I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, um, let me know. I have like a billion more notes that I could go through, but I picked um, a few of the things that I thought were really important. So if you're not following up with your customers, make sure to start doing that and make it personal and get to know your customers because it really is fun to um, make new friends and make connections and I really think that that's what direct selling is all about is making um, personal relationships with people so um, yeah let me know if you have any questions and I hope this has been helpful bye